Britney Spears' new memoir hasn't even hit stores yet, but the tea that's being spilled is piping hot. Let's get into it. People magazine recently acquired an excerpt from her book revealing details of her relationship with Justine Timberlake, and there have been reports that Justin was very fearful of what Britney might reveal in her book. She says, Being in the show, which is the Mickey Mouse Club, was boot camp for the entertainment industry. Extensive dance rehearsals, singing lessons, acting classes, time in the recording studio, and school in between. The Mouse Kateers quickly split into our own cliques, divided by the dressing rooms that we shared. Christina Aguilera and I were the younger kids, and we shared a dressing room. We looked up to the older kids. Carrie Russell, Ryan Gosling, and Tony Luca, who I thought was so handsome. And I quickly connected with a boy named Justin Timberlake. It was honestly a kid's dream, unbelievably fun, particularly for a kid like me. But it was also exceptionally hard work. We would run choreography 30 times a day, trying to get every step perfect. Once at a sleepover, we played Truth or Dare, and someone dared Justin to kiss me. A Janet Jackson song was playing in the background as he leaned in and kissed me. She also revealed that she got pregnant and that her pregnancy was a surprise, but not a tragedy. I loved Justin so much. I always expected us to have a family together one day. This would just be much earlier than I'd anticipated. But Justin definitely wasn't happy about the pregnancy. He said we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives, that we were way too young. I'm sure people will hate me for this, but I agreed not to have the baby. I don't know if that was the right decision. If it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it. And yet Justin was so sure that he didn't want to be a father. According to page six, Brittany and Justin terminated the pregnancy in 2000 when they were just 18 and 19 years old respectively and she described it as one of the most agonizing things she had ever experienced. For starters, I am so glad that Britney is free. For some of y'all who may not know, Britney was under conservatorship for a little over 14 years, and her dad basically had the final say when it came to her finances. She accepted the conservatorship was gonna happen, but she didn't want her father to be a conservator. Anytime there's that amount of money to be made, you have to question the motives of everyone. Why is her dad making all of her decisions? Why is she still in this? The conservatorship was terminated by an L.A. County judge on November 12th, 2021. Free Britney is a reality at last. Friday afternoon in the Los Angeles courtroom. So I just want to thank all of you. I've got a client that I need to speak with. Judge Brenda Penny releasing 39-year-old Britney Spears from the conservatorship that since 2008 had controlled every aspect of the pop star's existence. She spoke to People magazine and revealed that learning her new freedom was challenging at times. She also said, It is finally time for me to raise my voice and speak out, and my fans deserve to hear it directly from me. No more conspiracy, no more lies. Just me owning my past, present, and future. She also hopes that the overall takeaway is to speak up. Be loud, know your worth, inspire people, and most of all, just be kind. Britney's memoir titled The Woman and Me is set to hit stores on October 24th, which is not so far from now, so if you are a book lover, be sure to check it out. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below and check out this video.